Welcome to Bitfumes and this is Golang Tutorials. In this episode, we are going to talk about the struct in Golang. So we know we can easily create a variable using short declaration. But what if I want to hold some record? I want to have some collection of fields. Then this is not possible with the simple variable. And here you can see this variable is holding some number. So the type of this variable is int. What if I want to have a different different kind of fields with different types and I want to collect that. So here comes our struct. So struct is actually a, another type like you have a type as int, you have a type as a string, then we can create our own type. So because we are going to create a type, we just need to say type and then we are going to name the type and the type is animal. And what is the type we are creating actually? We are creating a struct. Okay. And in this struct, I want to say that, okay, whenever I am saying that some variable is a type of animal, this means we need to pass name, which should be a string and sound, which also has to be a string. Okay. So how we can use this animal struct? Now we have X. And now I'm saying that, okay, create a variable called X and assign the value for the type of animal, which is a struct. So we just need to give the value of name and sound. And how we can give the value? We just need to say curly braces. Inside curly braces, I can say name is cat and sound is meow. Okay, so let's say print x simple so we have print x and this time i'm going to run a struct and here we have so now we can see we have cat meow inside curly braces this represent we have a struct now we can also do without defining the variable name and here now variable name it's actually the field of animal struct so without defining the field name, we can directly give the value and this has to be in a sequence. Okay, so we have done that a new variable comma y and run it. This time you can see we have a cat and we have a cat meow. This is nice, but you know, we can change the field value. How we can change? I can say y dot name is going to be dog so it's very easy and now this time we have dog meow so dog doesn't sound like meow but it happens in programming <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay so we have seen that how we can create this struct how we can change the name on the struct you can also do one thing so we can say i want to create a type of cat and defining a struct and this cat is going to have a field which is another struct belongs to animal so belongs to variable which is a type of animal and animal is a struct so we are defining an struct which is also using another struct also this is has to be some color color has to be a string great and now we have x and we are saying z i uh, don't know why z let's use y okay this time i'm going to create a cat as a struct and make sure this has to be lower cased and this time inside curly braces we need to provide two things belongs to and color but belongs to itself is a struct so I can simply use belongs to and then same format it's a name and sound with a comma and then I can say color which is gray that's cool and make sure you provide semicolon at the last and I think that's it missing type in composition literal okay yeah we need to give the type here yeah that's done run the struct so first one is x which is holding the animal struct and second one is a 
multi dimensional struct so we have a cat struct inside that we have an animal struct so this is very useful when you have a collection of data and you want to define the data like in a collection in that case the struct is super useful one last thing you can grab the pointer also so i can simply say like this so if i run it will give me the same value but <coughs> I can say z is x and then changing the value of z so z dot name is equal to camel and now running z so you can see because we have used the reference of memory that means the pointer so it will change the value of name not only on the z also on the x so let's try this so you can see we have a camel here and camel hair if I if I'm not using this ampersand if I'm not using the pointers then it will only going to change the value on the Z not on the X so this is how you can play with the struct and we will meet in the next episode till then if you like this episode please give it a thumbs up share this video with your friends subscribe to this channel like bit on Facebook Twitter Instagram LinkedIn